Good morning, everybody. We are starting another lovely week of toy hunting here in Bristol, Virginia. Let's go in Walmart, see what they got. Alrighty, Transformers. What we got at Top Coronations, Bumblebee. There is Optimus Prime. Another Optimus Prime. Spin Changer. Hmm. 12 moves and he transforms. Another one I might be able to handle. <laughs> now we got our Ninja Turtles. Got some Leos in disguise. There's Mikey. Whole bunch of Shredders. So we got all of them but Triceraton. I'm surprised those Pegworm. In my experiences, Ninja Turtle stuff usually goes pretty quick. Of course, the store show turtles always do. In my area, anyways, they don't last too long. We still got some X-Men here. And Black Panther and more X-Men. Up there, we've got King Shazam, Jonathan Kent, King Shazam, Jonathan Kent, Jonathan Kent, and the Penguin. I was kind of hoping to see some new multiverse, but I don't think we're going to... Blackest Knight, John Kent, Martian Manhunter, Duke Thomas, Demon, and then what's over here? Demon and King Shazam. Got more clearance here. Light year, and some kind of training visor, then our gold label clearance, Martian Manhunter. Looks like about the same. There's enough more Blackest Knight. Blackest Knight wave is everywhere now my area anyways one good thing they're heavily stocking this morning I saw a bunch of stock pallets I want to try to sneak by and look in Batman and Superman's all they got in page punchers uh, up top not seeing any more multiverse up there we got some more hanging there we'll look at, but it looks like it's mostly Dark Detective and Aquaman. Dungeons and Dragons. Finally saw previews for the movie over the weekend. Doesn't look half bad. We got Nightwing, Batman Who Laughs, Green Lantern, Batman Who Laughs, Deathstroke. So they don't have Flash that I'm seeing this morning. There's a four dollar dark sides. I can't believe these haven't went on clearance yet. The Supermobile and the Batwing. And also this Batmobile. Let's see what my man's gonna tell me. Villain surrender. Villain surrender, another new saying by Batman. We'll just let it go on that one since he said something new to us. Uh John Kent, Aquaman, Aquaman, Aquaman. Oh uh, what is this one? I see the Justice League, that's Aquaman. Duke Thomas and Dark Detective. And our Page Punchers. Spin Master. Gujitsu and Star Wars. Some more Star Wars over here. Got all of our Snake Eyes movie figures still. And AEW. Somebody's lined some up back there. They got the same ones. Thunder Rosa, Lance Archer, Nyla Rose. Make sure it's not the Nyla Rose with the orange. Nope. I saw another one somewhere. Stu Racing. Okay. And then we got Ortiz, and a J, another Nyla Rose up there. Let's see, got our video games coming up. We got Power Rangers, a bunch of them. A pink and red ranger. What's this thing? Dino Force. Oh no. Knock the pink ranger off. Sorry. Okay, yellow rangers. Lady J. I didn't see. I don't have timber down there anymore. And we got our video game plushies and whatnot from Mario's. And I don't think they got any. I have some Sonic. There's a few in there. Among Us, the imposter. There's our Bakugan, Sonic and Mario. They still haven't got any more of the Link, Samus, and Zeldas. Still hoping they do some more in that figure line. And 
And then we got some poppy playtimes here. Let's see what they got. Huggy Wuggy. Uh, I think Huggy Wuggy is going to be it. Pokemon cards. All right, that's going to do it for this main toy aisle. Let's go check out some Lego and Diecast and see if I might can peek at some of these stock carts. Let's look at some Diecast. I walked down the Lego aisle. I didn't see anything different. Nothing they had here that didn't have last time. They've got the office set again. But I filmed the office set a thousand times. Uh, retro racers then and now. Uh, here's a Batman. Oh, we all think of this thing in a different paint scheme on the 89 Batmobile there. I actually saw this when I wasn't filming at the home base Walmart. I did pick it up. But that one seems to be showing up in a lot of places now. Makes me wonder as the Flash movie draws more near, are we going to see more Batman Hot Wheels? Especially 89 Batman. Let's see what we got. There's some Batmobiles back in here. Got the one from Batman vs. Superman. Two of these. Oh, I wrecked the Batmobile. And the way I normally go about dropping things, does it count if it doesn't fall to the floor and just lands lower on the shelf? That should only count for like half a drop, I think. Moving parts, what is this? 2019 Ford Ranger. It's got the hood that opens and stuff. It's, it's kind of cool. I always liked that when I was a kid. When I would get those and the hoods and doors and such would open. Don't see anything up top. All kinds of monster trucks. They're looking pretty good. And we got our Mario cards. Hey, they got the Ninja Turtle cars. They got Mikey. Yep. Okay, Leo and Mikey are the only two they make. I guess we'll have Raph and Donnie in the next wave. And then let's see what we got here. A bunch of Tech Deck, Disney 100. Here's the Millennium Falcon. Got the Bat, Batmobile, Bat Cycle from the Batman. Still have not seen that Bat Cycle. Again, from Batman Forever. All right, it's going to wrap this up. We're going to head back to Collectors, try to check some of these stock boxes, and I'll be right back. All right, collectible section. What's behind the Batman mask here? That's a Shazam statue. Let's take a look at that in case we've got any Shazam fans. I've probably seen this thing before, but I'm not for certain. It's buried back on the shelf. Makes me wonder if somebody saw it and put it back there to try to hide it. It is pretty cool looking though. And bear with me as we move Batman back in place. All right, what do we got back here? We got Secret of the Ooze Shredder still, Unarmored Last Ronins, Mummy, Nightwing, the Fly Thing, the Migos. Uh, we got Flash Hot Pursuit and a Gold Clearance Wonder Woman. A Riddler Pose statue. And we got our Best Actions Hocus Pocus. Not seeing a lot different. Lock Lock Analyst. There's a Pan Am Stewardess. Some Mike from Stranger Things. Alright, what have we got on this side? Man, those little soda things, I had those here. They were here for like a day and they were gone. I'm glad I caught those when I did. Alright guys, that's going to wrap up this Walmart. We may hit Target later and see what they got. But if I see anything else on the way to the registers, I will film it. If not, I will see you at the next store. Okay, never mind. They actually have a ton of these sodas. This is the soda can uh, dispenser display. Someone mentioned to me in the comments they had seen these things in, but let's see. Yep, they got Captain Carter. If y'all watched my video where I was in Sevierville, Tennessee, I actually picked this one up and carried it around for quite a while before I decided not to get it. I'm trying to fight the urge to collect these things because they are, I mean, they're $15 a piece, but 
they are kind of cool they got the iron hearts here what's this light blue one what if kahori i'm not for sure who that is Other toy hunters I watch, they collect these things trying to find chases in them. I'm sure that's always fun trying to find a chase. But again, I saw these things on here, wanted to show them. And we are back at Target. Let's go in and see if they have finally stocked the toy section. Let's go look. All right, so one thing we do see so far, look at the end cap here. We have got Jaguar. Turtle figure there. Yeah, three of those. Got some Ghost Face Tony Terror. The Grapple from Batman 89. But the hitters, look at this shelf. I did not know NECA was going to make Dungeons and Dragons figures. Check that out. That's pretty sweet. War Duke here. Look at that. I got to tell you, these are tempting. We've got a snake predator here from Predator 2. Oh, look at that guy. Look at the head sculpts. The helmet. And a harbor we've seen before. And this. I have not seen this in store yet. Neck of Count Dracula from Universal. Monsters. That is sweet. Then we got the Last of Us 2 pack. Does this open? It does. I'm assuming this is going to be Joel and Ellie. If I can get it opened up there. we got some Raphael monster, but hey, so far so good. Let's run back to the action figure section now see what they got there. All right, unfortunately, we ran back here to disappointment. Still no new McFarlane's. Ugh. They got the Blackest Night Wave sometime last week. That's the first time this Target's restocked McFarlane. I can't tell you how long. They finally sold all the gold label Aquaman. Still got Indiana Jones, that big four pack there. Got Duke and Ram. Still got G.I. Joe classified movie figures. They sold some of the Power Rangers they had. And some more of the reactions. You know, three Dukes there is all they got left. There's that stunt squad stuff. Can't recall if I had that one here last time or not. I know we looked at the Captain America and Thanos there. Still got Spidey and Venom. Down to one Namor. Legends. Des Moines. B Rogue. Alright, we still got one Namor. I think we may take and scan him and see what he comes up as. Just to check it out. So I got some bunch of gujitsu. I'm forgetting the bottom shelf there. So we found some holothon stuff. We found Draculids and Predators and all those, but unfortunately This has not area's not been stocked. Maybe some of the more we'll find some stuff. Some other owls. Here's a Mario Brother. That's Peach. Is Peach already on sale? $13.99. Is that accurate for the movie? The Peach Fig, Luigi, and Mario. They're down to $14 already. And they got Bowser. He's marked down. Alright, everybody. That's going to do it for this main aisle. Oh, nope. There's Bowser. He's still 30 Let's go check out some wrestling and diecast, and I'll be right back. Well, one thing that is good, they got a lot of this stuff on sale, which means we're trying to get rid of it, which hopefully means they're getting ready to restock. or down to one shamrock there, but the wrestling section is getting a little thin. These guys were on sale last week. There's a Mandalorian dart tripper. I haven't seen this thing before. Look at that's pretty cool looking. No price on it yet though. It's kind of like the Ghost Rider I found. $31.49 is what's on the back of this, but I can't. 
Star Wars Deluxe figure. Is that going to be $31? Man, that's a lot for a 3.75. I say that I paid that for that Ghost Rider Marvel Legends I found here last week. Okay, what else we got down through here? A lot of empty pegs. No Ninja Turtles. Still got the three two bads. Sun Man down there. And we got our dinosaurs. A lot of this stuff on sale too. Oh man, was that the Jurassic Park? Oh man, they had that down $24.99 for the little T-Rex bundle there with the Explorers. I wish I could have caught that. All right, let's try to head over to some die cast now, see what we can find there. All right, out front here, there we got all four of the main Mario figures all on sale, 14 bucks. You know, $6 off a figure. Bowser must be the most popular one selling of that line. They've only got one of him, and he's still 30 bucks. but I don't know how many they got of them, but there you got all four, Peach, Toad, Mario, and Luigi, $13.99 each. Don't know if all targets have that sale going on, but interested in those, be sure to reach out. Not reach out, but go look. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got here in our Hot Wheels. I don't think they've restocked in here yet. Not a whole lot going on. That's the little Batman set that I picked up here a while back. Not well, look at that again. I actually had that on a video. But I have no idea how long ago that was. Is that a Bigfoot in there? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, it is Bigfoot Bot. Hmm. I did see online Jada is getting ready to put out something. Let's get down here. Kind of like this, but it's going to be for Jurassic Park. That's going to be them pulling into the park entrance. Uh, I can't wait for that to come out. I had to look on their website again to see when it's going to be coming out, but that'll be a definite purchase whenever I can find that. And it may be an online thing. I didn't read any details. I just saw a picture of it. Let's see. Wrangler showroom. Drive, Reno 911, Pond Star, showroom, showroom. And then showroom. What do we got in here? Alright. Don't see any of that. Micro machines. It must be like a blind box thing. Moving parts there. That's pretty cool. Ford Ranger. All right, that's going to do it for the die cast. Let's see if we can get over to Lego to see if they got anything new. Lego. We got about the same stuff here. Only thing I don't remember seeing last time. I don't remember seeing the friend set last week when I was here, but they may have had it. I'm not for sure. Wildflower still got Bowser, Bat Cycles. I know I'm painting this pretty quick, but this is the same stuff they had. They do have the Countach there marked down to $15.99. And the track pack there is down to $15.99. And over on this side. Sorry about the pause. The one employee here who does not like me filming stopped to stare at me. So I stopped to stare back at him until he walked on. Let's see what else we got. There's some of the blind box Mario little characters. I may have already shown that or seen it before, but all right, not seeing anything new here. The end cap down there is still the same. The GT40 and things they had. Let's see if we can check out. Oh, I do like this. If that does drop in price, that might be a pickup for Mega Box. Let's check this other Lego aisle. Oh, we got Friends, Friends Diner, what else we got?
All right, not seeing anything new down through here. Let's go check out the collector section and see what we can find there. All right, to be honest, I'm a little excited about this section today, seeing that I found that end cap that was restocked. I got a bunch of the Predator Jungle Hunters. Only one King Kong that is knocked over. Pan's Labyrinth, Gremlins, half about the same thing. I got the Predator figures. Down there, those jungle hunters, and they got those bags there, and a bunch of Ninja Turtles. Looks like most of them are Zack and Smash. Let's see, you got some sodas. Looks like they're all Okoye. <laughs> Lizard, Spider Man. I was kind of hoping to find that amazing Spider Man 300 little set, kind of like the Daredevil and Captain Marvel there. Haven't found that one yet. Reactions. We still got these best action turtles. Still the same one that just haven't sold them all yet. And we got the sports stuff. Justice League, black and whites. Godzilla and Kong. Alright, they haven't really done much back in here. So we found the one good end cap and that was about it. Let's just check down here in this little overstock area. I got some price drops going on. Let me just find some things. Reduced price back here. Still got all those Pokemon cards. All those Lego sets I had, but let's see. Well, some of this stuff's got some sale stickers on it, but none of the Lego. Still 119 for the Batman. All those sets are still full price. I mean, they got a bunch of these. Uh, Ninjago drill or drone or what are they called? Titan Mix, Lord. A lot of those, man. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten of those things. And then those, but I think that's going to wrap us up for this store. I want to check around in case there's a couple more end caps or something somewhere. I have some stuff, but find anything, I'll film it. If not, I'll see you for the wrap up. All right, everybody, you saw me in Walmart and Target today looking around. We're going to try something different with the haul portion today. You're going to see me talking here in the truck, and then I'm going to teleport myself to my stand-up desk. We're just going to be seeing what I picked up. So we're going to try something a little bit different today. So I'm going to snap my fingers, and when I unsnap, we will be looking at my desk. Okay, everybody, last time you saw me, I was in the cab of a truck, and now I'm standing in front of my, my drafting table. So let's take a look what we picked up. Um, Walmart this morning didn't pick up anything. Didn't really see a whole lot new in there. They were doing a lot of stocking and running around in there, but I walked by the stock carts they had and there was no really action figures at all. They're still stocking all their summer, summer toys, water guns, inflatables, things like that. But we did pick some stuff up at Target. We went through there and the first thing we picked up in there, we picked up Mario. I wasn't going to pick these figures up initially, but they had these things on sale already. They're marked down from 20 bucks down to 14. So I did pick up Mario. See there the art on the sides of the box. And there we go on the back. I may end up cracking these open, I'm not for sure. The figure I really want from this movie line is Bowser, but he's still 30 bucks. So we're gonna kinda hold off on him. See if maybe he comes down in price a little. But we picked up Mario. The next one we picked up, you can probably guess, Luigi. He was also marked down from 20 bucks down to 14 This is the one figure outside of Bowser I also really wanted. I love Luigi's character. No offense to Mario, but I was always more partial to Luigi. Because when I was younger, playing this back on the regular Nintendo system, my older brother was always the first player, so of course he was always Mario, and I was always Luigi. <laughs> and then Luigi's Mansion and all that. Again, I'll probably end up opening these. I don't know if I'll keep them in package or not. And I'd like to have Bowser at some point too. Don't know about Peach and Toad. If they stay on sale, there's a good chance I'll pick those up as well. The next thing we got, and I was very excited to find this in there, we got the Dracula NECA figure. You know, they had the little end cap there you saw on the video with the different figures. They only had two of these. I was glad to pick one of those up. I was this close, probably more like that close to buying those Dun or Dungeons and Dragons figures, but these things are $35 a piece. You know, if I wanted to buy three of those today, I mean, I'm not that into D&D, &D, but 
again those figures were cool looking but let's take a look at dracula here and i have the other universal NECA figures i've got both versions of frankenstein the mummy and uh oh i just went blank frankenstein the mummy wolfman i'm assuming there's a black and white version of this as well for dracula so i have to try to find that but we do have the ultimate colored version of count dracula let's take a look at the rest of the box art that side that side and then on the back we got him there in different poses all right, as far as the physical hunt today of going to Walmart and Target, that is all we picked up. But I did have an online purchase that came in. Um, this thing showed up, I saw it, I think, Friday on um, one of my McFarlane groups on Facebook. I posted a picture of it. I got on the merchant's website to get it, and it had already sold out by the time I got to the checkout. But it came back up on Saturday, and I was able to order it. And then two days later, it's here. But if you have seen the short I posted this morning, you already know what this is. But we picked up this Spin Master Batwing from the new Flash movie coming out, the 89 Batman there. I mean, the figure, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, you got the 89 outfit there. And according to the people on Facebook who had already had this thing and had it out, um, this scales to McFarlane figures. I think they said in the cockpit here, you have to kind of lay them down. You can't have them sitting straight up. But still, this is 40 bucks versus 250 for that McFarlane one that's coming out. Now, who's to say I'll probably end up buying the McFarlane one? But I did pick this thing up, and it's, once again, sold out You know, for $39 off of Target. Let's take a look at the back of this thing. I can spin it around here with one hand. It is quite a massive box. You can see more detail here on the back. And we've got landing gear that comes down. And then you got your, I've got dimensions on the back here. It's 27 inch plus inches. So it's got a pretty good spread on it too. And the box here is pretty, pretty good size. I'll say it's pretty good size in there. Very excited to get this thing online. And again, it came in two days. Ordered it on Saturday the, uh, been the 18th and Monday the 20th. It, it arrived. So, and this is also Target exclusive. I don't know if you saw that on the front of the box. I don't know if it's going to be an online exclusive. But you can see up here, it's only going to be at Target to get this version of the Batwing. But that is going to do it for this week. If you are a first-time viewer to my channel or that returning viewer who has yet to subscribe, consider hitting subscribe. And until the next hunt, myself, Batman, Dracula, Mario, and Luigi, we'll see you next time.